Hey, what's going on with you, man? Hey, cool, but... I know. What's up? What's up? Hey, how you doing, man? Hey, hey, nah. I'm good. I'm good, man. I want I want to switch um switch gears real quick, man, because um and I don't know if you y'all talked about this earlier, but with everything going on today's time, mm-hmm. you know, um you being a, a very smart and business headed black man and everything going on, man. Uh, I know that you invest in in real estate and land and things of that nature, and that's uh very very important for us, you know, today's time, man. So I just wanted to know, you know, what what you think about uh going about teaching people like how you train but teaching uh us man how to invest in land and, and it's time to start building our own so what what you think about that oh uh, man you know what uh i do it but i mean i don't do it like formally with classes but like me and fred have bounced ideas off of each other when we've talked you know i've helped julian with some stuff i just i just help people what everybody goes about the realist, everybody thinks it's like the certain formula, but everybody has their own way of doing it. You know what I mean? But I, I, I don't have a problem with sharing minds, you know what I mean? Uh, and telling people how I got my real estate and what I do and, you know, how I do my properties and things like that. I'm actually going through some crap right now, man. I'm trying to get a line of credit. I took Fred's advice and I uh, want to use the bank's money. Yeah. <laughs> Real, I know it. I know it. Being real detailed and specific about my articles of incorporation, mm-hmm. asking me, I mean, I gotta, man, I didn't fact so much shit is driving me crazy. Mm-hmm. But I'll tell you something, man. It's funny, man, because you know, um, I was doing this property and uh it was on a residential block, and I bought a lot and I built on the property and uh, I got an abatement, and the house was worth maybe about four hundred thousand dollars. And I, uh, I was only paying like $500 a year in taxes because I got an abatement. And man, the neighbors hated me. Mm. They were like, the gentrification and you doing this and you doing that. And I'm like, I'm like, damn, I can't win for losing, you know? And I took the, you know, the, the black lady was telling me off, man, she was an older lady. And I was like, miss, I'll help you get an abatement. You know, I'll show you what building to go to. I'll do it. Like, I don't know. You know, and I'm never, ever going to be disrespectful to nobody. You know, she was an older lady. She was in her 60s or 70s. And she was like, my taxes are going to go up and y'all doing this. <laughs> and, I, and, and Fred, it was a tough position to be in. I didn't know what to say, man, because I'm just I'm just trying. I'm not trying to tear our neighborhood down. I just simply saw a, a lot and I built on it. You know, it had nothing to do with her per se. Well, and, it was an eyesore. They had to develop it. That's why and, they gave you the abatement. You know, and um. But people don't understand that, Fred. They think that you'd like, you know, it's like, damn, if you do and damn, if you don't, they look at you as like messing up their taxes or you're not for the cause or you're not woke. And it's just it's just a shame, man, because, you know, um, I said, miss, you know, I'll give you every resource that I got. You know, you can get your house fixed up the way I did this house and go right down and I'll show you where to go. And after the conversation went on. I kind of like. um calmed her down and like I, I i like quelled her aggression towards me but it was like it's like crazy man because some people really like look at you as the enemy but like like that's the only way you can really invest in real estate unless you're a multi-millionaire mogul where you're building strip malls that's the only way that that i know how to invest in real estate and really be able to have a profit margin and it's a shame because some of the um you know, the people in the inner city, they kind of resent you for that, man. And it's, uh, um, it's just unfortunate, man, because I, 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 she, I caught a lot of hell from her and I didn't really, you know, I wanted to hug her like, man, I'm not doing this. You know, I didn't, you know, it's not my fault, but I don't think people understand it, man. And I can't save the world, man, and give everybody everything. But I don't have a problem with telling anybody how I did my properties, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm an open book when it comes down to that. Yeah, I, I want to link up with you, man. I'm in New York, man, so I want to learn, man. I want to, yeah. you know, start in, in investing, man. I need to learn, man, and uh, you know, and uh, I you want to pass some knowledge. Man, you got the game down pack, man. He he got the game all over. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he he all the way in L.A., man. You know what I'm saying? Let me just tell you something, man. Everywhere is different, though. You got to know right. your market. You know yeah, what I mean? Market, I know the Philly market. I know the Texas. If you tell me an area of the city, I could tell you where the top houses are going for. Everywhere is different. So, you know, mm. I got to preface that. If you ask me about New York, I don't know nothing about New York's properties. So you got to go with the area that you're going to be developing in. You know what I mean? You have to uh, you have to keep that in mind. You got to keep that. You 
the context of what you're doing. You have to like I know where to go to get the abatements here. I know how to do everything everywhere. You know, it's just it's, it's not the same. You know, Fred probably got the L.A. market down pat. Mm. You know what I mean? So you got to keep that in mind whenever you try to get some advice from somebody, because uh, it might not be the same in L.A. It might not be the same in Philly. Properties go different. All right, man. Yeah, that's all. That's all I want to ask you, man. I appreciate you. Yep, yep, yep. You got it. And we appreciate you. I appreciate you. Uh, No, I was talking. I ain't talking to you, Nick. I'm talking to Bread Man. (laughs) (laughs) Appreciate you, dog. Appreciate you. All right, Blue. All right, what? All right, all right, man. And uh, I appreciate you coming on, man. Two hours and seven minutes. Well, 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 you took you 15 minutes to get in, but. uh, Man, I, I it's two o'clock. It's two o seven where you at, man? And I genuinely appreciate you, man. It's all good, man. It's yeah. all good. I'm gonna get some sleep, man. I don't got no regular job, so I <laughs> I wake up when I don't. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, you don't have a regular job, man. Thank God you don't. Yeah, yeah man. man. And I'll, I'll explain abatement when you hang up the phone because people are asking what's an abatement, but I'll explain it. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I should have explained it. Yeah, it's I'll explain like, it when you get off. You got it. Yeah, you you tell them what it is. Yeah. I appreciate you, dog, man. Thanks for coming in tonight, man. Yep, appreciate you. How All do right. I get off here? For, oh, I got it. Yeah, just click exit and you and I'll exit you out as well. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, one. All right. Yeah, man. I bread man, man. I appreciate you coming in, man. That was love, man. Bread man was a great guest, man. We got a lot of information out of him, man. And uh, uh make sure you guys go to his uh his Instagram and tell him thank you, man. And uh thank all the guests for coming in, man, because they take cold phone calls. I don't know what the hell y'all niggas about to ask. You know, I mean, I appreciate everybody coming in. Appreciate my co-host DB, who's about to call back in. Appreciate. Hey, hey, I just lurked that tonight. How funny is that shit? Why did I just pick up on that shit? Triple OG don't come in and ask for questions because I remember that shit with uh, Jason Whitlock. He don't come in and ask questions. He just come in and ask a statement and wanted to get some shit off his chest. You know, what I mean, I appreciate that, man. That was a good guest, man, and uh, we had a good time. And uh, so you know. Um, yeah, Charlo and Rosario is done. So you guys know I got that in the middle of the interview. So that shit is done. And uh, oh yeah, I I, I cut the phones off because they kept on going off. Thank you. You're right. And uh, yeah, we the king of the 154 pound division. You know what I mean? We the king of the one. We got we got Cunningham, Breadman. Who y'all want next at 154? Who y'all want next? <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man. Pre- appreciate Blue Blood coming in, man. Appreciate all y'all for uh, keeping us lit. Reggie Owens and uh, Super Super Coon. Hey, y'all. Was, hey. Hey, Super Coon didn't have a bad call tonight, DB. I heard. I saw you in there hating on Super Coon. I, I got Super Coon's back tonight, dog. He wasn't bad. Oh, okay. He wasn't bad. He I wasn't. said if y'all, if y'all Put it like this. I said, if y'all would have gave Super Cool one more compliment, that would have meant Red <laughs> Owens is going to vote for Donald Trump. Nah, I, I can't. The world finna be the world finna turn upside down. Oh, Fuck man. that. I never take the bait. Mm. Yeah, an abatement is when you get a discount. You, you, you know what I mean? It's it's basically when you get a reduction on on the property. You know what I mean? And uh, uh, why you tell me that? No, a, a, an abatement. I, I forgot to give the definition of what an abatement is. You, you know, I never I mean? asked for an abatement. Is I know what an abatement is. No, the people in the chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm like, damn, that was random as fuck. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, so, so it's basically like, uh, uh, you go down and get a reduction on, uh, like the taxes and stuff like that, and and uh, uh, they help you out. You know what I mean? So, uh, um, so that's basically what it is. And 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 you go to the office and you get it. And because see, what typically happens is. It's similar to like um, another use of an abatement is speaking of Minnesota. Remember, the taxpayers didn't they were arguing with the people over there in Minnesota about the uh, the taxpayers paying for the new arena. And that happens in a lot of places. The the new football stadium. That's a that's not an abatement, but it's a synonym for it. We're going to use taxpayers money. And, and also when you have like in Detroit or maybe in Philadelphia or maybe in South Central after the riots, they say you're not going to pay taxes for six years or six months. If you buy this, this lot, this undeveloped land. And that's basically what they do. So, so, so that's what a synonym for an abatement is. So you guys can see it in real time. So, but if you go to my, if you guys subscribe 
to my uh, Patreon, y'all will know all that. <laughs> go to barbershop <laughs> conversations on patreon and you will know all that you know what i mean so so that's that's pretty much what it is so yeah and abatement right on so the word of the day word everybody the... abatement abatement man that was a good that was a good man that was a good hey i looked at your phone call you were on the phone 31 minutes yeah you know what so so <laughs> number one if i was if i was in front of the person the conversation like i know how to I know how to ask questions. You know what I'm saying? Like as a natural salesman, I can sit in front of somebody and I can ask them questions for like three hours and have them tell me their entire life. But I also know how to, you know, how to, how to, uh, uh, how to shorten it. But, you know, I'm not the one that's really conducting an interview. I'm just asking questions. And not only that, though, I'm asking questions that these dudes in the chat are looking to ask too. You know what I'm saying? Some people, they want to ask them in the chat and the dude probably not reading the chat. So he ain't, he never going to answer the question. So I'm trying to ask for some of the brothers who don't really got a voice to call in, you know? My face ain't familiar, but my voice is. You know what I'm saying? So I ask the questions to be the be the voice of the people. Word up. Crap. But uh <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I ain't scared. I mean, I don't care. I don't care if it's you can put uh Joe Biden, Donald Trump, Holly Berry, I don't give a fuck who it is. I ain't scared to talk to nobody. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So talking to somebody is like taking a fade. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm willing to have a bad one. Mm -hmm. You know, but you got to be willing. Yeah, got to be with straight up and down. Yeah, man. Uh, barbershop is uh, is a great place for us to meet with some of these people, man. We man, got we some had... good brothers, man. In our, you know, yeah, our man, we had a great we had a great show the past. How much did we learn the last 48 hours, dog? For real. Don't yeah, lie. Don't bullshit. The last 48 days. 48 days. Oh, I appreciate that. That's love. Thank you, dog. Yeah, man. That's uh yeah, that's dope. And and uh, oh, so you know, Friday is gonna be like an awkward show. I'm gonna go live from uh, I'm gonna go live from um, uh, a Juneteenth event, and I'm gonna do a lot of interviews there. So as opposed to me going live that night, I think I'm going to uh, do the live at the Juneteenth event, and that way I can get Wait, all. The the park? Yeah, you going? You be there, right, DB? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Okay. Oh, we, As a matter of fact, I might be working one of the booths. Oh yeah, we're gonna hook up and flick up. So 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 that'll be dope. Okay. And uh so 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 you know, so I'll be able to get all the interviews and all that stuff from all the artists and all the people that show up. So uh um so, so that's pretty so I just want you guys to know that. So I'm gonna be going live at odd times throughout the day as it relates to the Juneteenth event. So so that's that's pretty much what it's gonna be. So that's the uh so, so that's the new thing coming in. So so yeah, yeah so, so so feel free and share the event. Charlo Rosario was done. All right, Charlo Rosario was done, and uh, what else? That's it. So yeah, I got about three or four different flyers uh, from the committee. Mm -hmm. So I'll send them to you. I'll, I'll send them to you, and then you know Appreciate you can look you, at man. whichever one. And I'm probably already got them posted, but if not, you can use one of those flyers and just okay. you know post it on your IG or something and send it out to some more of the brothers. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, man, it was a good time. Last, last quick little thing. I know sometimes when, uh, since we don't have a time limit no more, since YouTube ain't haven't been tripping on us, the the show goes on longer. You know what I'm saying? We'd be on at 11:35 and 11:50, and I for sure I, I like to always try to make sure I get in what I need to by 10:30 because I know these motherfuckers be on the East Coast and they want to go to sleep. Yeah, they do. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sometimes shit, I want to get out there and go run, but you know, but after it get too late, I'll be lazy and shit and <laughs> yeah, don't want to move. So, yeah. uh huh. And you want to go charge your car? <laughs> hey, and, and DB hogged all y'all time tonight, dog. I'm just gonna tell y'all niggas real talk. DB hogged up all the fucking time. So make sure y'all rag his ass. You know what I mean? Yeah, do something about it. I'll be there <laughs> on June June 19th. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. So I just want y'all to know that it wasn't me. It was a yeah. You're right. Time limits. You're right. You're right. But I, but I'll be like, it'd be like, I'd be so relaxed and casual because I, I, I feel like I know y'all personally. So I just be sitting vibing and, you know what I mean, and you know what I mean. You no, know so. I'm saying for us it's cool, but when the guest is here, shit, I, you know what I'm saying, like we gotta let the guest go. Yeah, shit. Yeah. I think we let the guest go when it's like ten fifty, and then we do our little wrap up after that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it depends yeah, on the guy. He, he was LA, rolling. Talking, he was rolling until you got to the 18th minute. Then the nigga got tired. 
<laughs> and then, uh, hey, hey, and then, and then Triple OG, I'm like, Triple G, you make a great points. Let the nigga respond to the points, dog. Like, let the nigga respond. Hey. Nigga, we didn't, for Dude, real, when we tri- got a... Triple OG got two mouths and one ear. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> and as funny as that shit is, I've never heard that before. And that seemed like it could have, uh, it should have been said a long time ago. Oh, man. Yeah. But that shit was premeditated, though. Mm-hmm. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Play the song, Frank. Oh, shit. Got him. Got, got him. Got me, <laughs> dog. Appreciate you, DV. Got me, dog. Appreciate right you, big homie. One. Hey man, I appreciate y'all. Hey, we going to war tomorrow. You know what tomorrow's show is gonna be about? Do we need four more years of Trump? <laughs> four more years. Four Reggie. Four more years. Four more years. People Hernandez, Rob, CMB, Jeff, J8, Muir, Cash, G, G5, Boxing, Reggie Owens. What up, big homie? We, we dedicate tomorrow's show to Reggie Owens, man. He came out with that bill today, and I'm very interested in what y'all... Make sure y'all go read the bill, okay? Go read the bill, because I don't want to read that long-ass shit on the show, all right? Go read his Emancipation Proclamation today on police force in America, all right? <laughs> J8, Muir, Cash G, G5, Lewis Hinton, J8 Dixon, TB. I thought TB was on call in tonight, man, but he full. That nigga got, got one hand on the remote, one hand on the cell phone. What up, why not? Tim, Terrence, what's up? Sing this shit. Think you take it personal. Cause the devil is a lie. I'm telling you the truth. Hey, it's all what you do. Hey, some things you gotta do. Hey, 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 hey. I see y'all in 22 hours, man. We take the 22 hour commercial break. Why not? Executive order. Good night. Batman, you stayed up. You made it, dog. You made it. You made it. Sometimes you in and out this motherfucker. You just show your face, man, like a like a fine bitch at a house party. You know what I mean? I'm just stopping here. I'm on my way to the club and hang out with get these niggas with these bottles, but I just, you know, came show the little homie some love. What up, G5, J8, man? It's the moment of truth. Ooh. It was a fun ass show, man. We had a good time tonight, man. We had just think, man. We had two of the top ten trainers at one fifty four, and two of the top ten. Well, we'll get J Rock in. I, we'll get J Rock in. I'll call him for July. Yo, it's my personal statement. Yeah, we. Yeah, bobbing and weaving, they changing up like the seasons, indigenous to the grind. So I do it for all my people, jabbing the competition, back up against the ropes. You fighting for recognition, I'm fighting just to promote equality where we lack it. Our cancer slow on our road. I'm confident we are making it. We focus on common goals. Yeah. Give back, give love, give things away. Never give up, stand tall to fight another day. Last time, y'all, the devil is a lie. Hey, I'm telling you the truth. Hey, it's all in what you do. Hey. The things you gotta do. Hey, 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 hey. You know Wilder's coming into the barbershop, nigga. You ain't gotta you, you ain't gotta worry about Wilder. Me and Wilder are on first me and Wilder not on first name basis. We on first ring basis, nigga. <laughs> as soon as the phone ring, what up, Fred? You ain't gotta worry about that, nigga. We Gucci. We Gucci. You know what I mean? Mm. I love y'all, man. Hey, I I just want to thank y'all for making the barbershop a safe haven, man, where where men can come in fellowship, man. It's a uh, it's, 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 it's definitely feel good, man. The past 10 to 15 days, man, we just been rocking out, talking about favorite songs, boxing, pussy, strippers, food, whatever we talking about. Tupac, you know, what I mean, appreciate y'all for real, man. I uh, It feels good, man. And I see y'all niggas tomorrow night. Peace.